So, so you can tell, I, I'm trying to pay attention to the actual distance in, in elevation. Chad's like, I don't care. You have to ride it one way or the other, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Ride bikes. <laughs> 164 and then I'll be happy to cheer you on the finish line. That was not easy. <laughs> Today was brutal. Stage one. I don't want to speak for everybody else. Is it safe to say it just about killed us all? We just wrapped up day one. I think it was a rude awakening into what, what this week was going to be all about. I think everybody had a lot of energy and maybe they forgot it was seven days. It's super early. I really don't want to ride 115 miles today. How can I get out of this? Hey, you guys want to go do another climb? Yeah, yeah. How about we do three more climbs? Yeah. <laughs> We're waiting for Kevin. We think he's taking a nap now. Oof. I'm trying to find a balance between like wishing I was home and still staying present here. But right now, I wish I was home. Tunnels that make you say, ooh, ah. <laughs> key right now is rest and um, <laughs> I can't even like think. Ooh, man. That's not feeling so great today. Dog. Ah. I haven't looked at the results because I'm not attached to the results, by the way, but these guys are obsessing about it. Uh, all in all, that's the Haute Route Alps. Oh, man. I am so tired. I was just ready to be done. Page seven. Straight to Geneva. With some speed bumps in between. Go. Suddenly it's, it's over and tomorrow we won't be riding our bikes. We're a little bit sad to be leaving, but I think we know that we'll probably do something like this again just to be able to share that experience with people that, that are like-minded and, and have the same, uh, the same outlook on cycling and, and uh, share that with them is, is, a, is a really nice, nice treat.